Goldberg project we named it in the bucket because our final goal was getting a Jenga block to fall into a bucket. When I eat I have chemical energy and then I pour the coins into the tunnels. Um, which is then gravitational potential energy because no, nothing's pushing it down it's just gravity pulling it. And it then goes into the funnel which then knocks over the tape which is kinetic energy. And that is also gravitational potential energy when it goes down that ramp. It then hits the pole and ruler that we had there holding this tape. It moves this side that way and this side this way, which allows for the tape roll to pass by because of gravitational potential energy and it slides down. And it hits the bell, which is sound energy. Um, the tape roll continued to move and push the dominoes down, which is kinetic energy. And then as the dominoes fell over, it pushed the ball which was gravitational potential energy, and then the ball fell down. When the ball hits the mousetrap, the mousetrap already has potential energy because it is a loaded spring. So the ball hits it, causing the potential energy to turn into kinetic energy, which launches it into the air. After the tennis ball was launched into the air, it had gravitational potential energy when it got to the top, which then required, or allowed it to fall. And as it reached the basket that was waiting for it, it was kinetic energy causing the basket to fall. Um, it then hit the space bar on the laptop that was waiting there, and the kinetic energy turns into electrical energy within the laptop, which sends signals to the Bluetooth speaker and causes that to play music. Which was sound energy, and then the vibrations of the music were able to knock the Jenga off into the bucket, which was also gravitational potential. After the Jenga block fell into the bucket, that was our goal, and that's the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only concerning, my love and friction is concerning when you talk physics to me.